Hey, so I've been seeing way too many people on Discord that like can't figure out how to set up SSG or just refusing to do it the right way or just did it completely wrong. So I decided to make this video um, that's a tutorial on how to set up SSG. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is buy Minecraft. So go to the link I put in the description, then click base game, and then click buy. Now you're going to have to sign in with your Microsoft account, put in your credit card info, etc. And then it'll give you a prompt to download the game. You don't actually have to do it because that's just for the launcher, and we're going to be getting a different launcher that's better for speedrunning and just in general. Close this browser tab now. Now go to the second link I put in the description, then go to operating system, make sure this is right for you. For me, I'm on Windows, architecture, make sure you select by 64 and then download the .msi if you're on Windows or the .pkg if you're on Mac. Now hit save and then go to your downloads and open it. We'll need admin permission for this if you don't have it, so yeah. Next, next, install. Now when it gives you a prompt like this, hit yes and wait for it to install. Now you can click finish and close the browser tab. Now go to the third link I put in the description and scroll down download for whichever operating system you have, hit save, go to your downloads, right click, show in folder, and then right click, extract all, extract. Now that you have this, right click on your desktop, get a new folder, I'll open this folder, just drop this multi-MC folder into that, you can close this folder. Now open the MultiMC folder, scroll down, left click on MultiMC, shift right click, go to create shortcut, then drag the shortcut on your desktop or on your taskbar. Now you can open the shortcut and select which language applies to you. I'm going to use American English. And now make sure that the highest number here is selected and make sure it's over 17. If it's not, you need to re-download Java because you got the wrong one. Now go down to maximum memory allocation, change this to 2048. Hit next, to disable analytics, hit finish. Now go to settings, user interface, colors, dark, close. Now that you can see, I'm going to go to Profiles, Manage Accounts, Add Microsoft, click on this, and then go back to MultiMC, and then hit Copy Code, go back to this, paste in the code, hit Next, and then sign into your Microsoft account. Now you can hit Close and right click, hit Create Instance, name it Practice and group, put it like SSG or something like that. And then scroll down to find 1.16.5 and hit OK. Now you're going to hit Edit Instance, go to Install Fabric, install the latest version, hit OK. And then go to Loader Mods, hit View Folder. And then click over here, copy this to your clipboard. Then you're going to go to the fourth link I put in the description. Now you're going to click on this here, hit save, and then open mod check. Now hit select instance paths and just paste in what you had copied before. Then hit select, and then on Minecraft version, click the drop down menu, select 1.16.5, hit select all, and follow closely. Select starlight. Unselect Krypton, scroll down, unselect World Preview, unselect Lazy Stronghold, and then select Sleep Background, and then select Set Spawn Mod, check OK, and select Chunk Casher, and hit OK. Now hit Download, and hit OK. Once everything is downloaded, you can close Mod Check. You can also close your Mods folder. Now hit Launch. Now once Minecraft opens, just go to Options, and then change a random setting, and then just immediately close the game. Now go to Version, and go down to Open.Minecraft, and then scroll down to Options.Text, double click this, go to Gamma, 
and hit change this to 5.0, save, and close. Launch the game again. This time, go to options, go to music and sounds, and turn off music if you don't like it. Now go back, turn your FOV to, I'd recommend 95. I wouldn't set it to something like Quake Pro because it's hard to be accurate, but I also wouldn't set it to something like 60 because then you can't really see anything. Now click the Ender Pearl, that's your timer settings because the new timer that people use is actually a mod. Scroll down to Use Global Options, click that, click Yes, then go to Timer, Disable Hide Timer and Options, now hit Cancel, and then go to uh, go to video settings. I'd recommend turning your render distance to five because you want high performance, but don't turn it below five or it's harder to see a vine, which is useful in the run. You can also make sure you turn off V-Sync and turn your FPS limit up to what your monitor is. Mine is 165. Then turn off view bobbing, go to quality, turn off vignette, and then Go to GUI scale, make sure it's like three, that's what I'd recommend, and then hit close. Now go to controls, mouse settings, and I would turn your sensitivity down. I use 55% sensitivity, but just make sure your sensitivity isn't crazy high because it's hard to be accurate then. Now turn off auto jump, make sure you can reach your sprint key. Scroll down. Also make sure you can reach all of these hotkeys. So I use Z, X, C, and V. If they interfere with other keys like this, just change them to something random as long as you don't need them. Also make sure you can reach your swap item with offhand key and your open and close inventory key. Scroll down. Also make sure you can reach your F5 key and then you can hit done. Now go to chat settings, I would recommend Turning down chat text size to like 50, and then you can go to accessibility settings, turn off distortion effects, and turn off FOV effects. I also recommend setting sprint to toggle. Now here, this changes where your button will be to quit without saving. You can have it be in the bottom right, center, or replace save and quit. This is really up to preference for me. I prefer it in the center. Now shift click on this golden boots button and then paste in the seed that I put in the description. This is the seed we'll be running. Now you can hit done, you can hit quit game. Now go to loader mod, then go to view configs, open setspawn.json. If it gives you this, select notepad, hit always, and then you can just close it again. Now you can close this folder. Now go back to multi-MC, Right click, hit copy instance, name it instance one, and then make sure you uncheck copy saves and keep playtime, then hit OK, bring it down to the same folder, go back to this console window, go to worlds, then go to the next two links I put in the description, they're both practice maps, click on this to download, hit save, and then go to the other one, download, save, then go to your downloads folder, and then go to worlds, and then just drop both of those in. Now you can launch the instance, and go to single player, go to Vine SSG practice, then you'll spawn here, right click the sign. Now you can go to overworld portal, and then if you want to have a ghost runner follow you, you can click to modify, open your chat, and then just do whatever these settings you want. I'm gonna do race PB. Now you can hit spawn, then go to full nether, you can do the same thing, and then make sure that reset with iron pickaxes on, I'd recommend turning off reset with netherite, then you can go back to spawn, go to full overworld, 
again, you can do the same thing with Ghost Runner, and then you can click Turn Off Reset with Diamond, and then go back to the spawn. Nether Portal, I'd recommend turning off Reset with Netherite. And there's no Ghost Runner for this one for some reason. You can go back to spawn, hit save and quit to title. Don't do menu.quitworld because then it won't save any of the things you just did. Now go to single player, end practice. I know what I'm doing. And then go to one cycle settings. And then you're going to set this to custom. And then you're going to make sure this is on any diagonal. And then you're going to want to go to click to edit your preset on preset one and then break these two obsidian place an armor stand here break that and click and then hit facing east now you can click to save now go to custom loadout, hit click to edit, and arrange it to look like this. Now right click the sign to save, now you can save and quit to title, quit game, go to the next link in the description, and download it. Hit save, now go to loader mods, hit add, and then go to your downloads folder, select ghost runner, hit open and then you can hit close. That's the mod that'll make the Ghost Runner work. Remember though that it isn't legal for real runs, so don't put it in your instance one folder. Now if you want to get into multi-instancing, and you will just want to skip the like one and a half second wait to create a new world, then you can hit copy instance, and name it something like instance two, turn off these, hit okay, and then you can just run them at the same time. This will decrease your performance a little, but if you have a decent computer, it shouldn't do so by too much. You can launch both instances, or just one if you're only using one instance. And then the method I'd recommend using to switch between these two instances is to just Alt-Tab like this. There are some macros that'll let you do it a little faster and also add some extra features since you don't really need to use it. I'm not going to cover it here. One last thing, go to your search bar, search mouse settings and click on that now I'll scroll down and go to additional mouse settings go to pointers double click on this and then scroll down to the C section select cross I hit open then hit apply and hit OK and now your cursor is a crosshair which will make chest looting and fast crafting a little easier and just more precise, but obviously this is entirely optional. If you want to start your runs, just click on the golden boots. On the first run you get when you press the golden boots, don't actually run on this. Press F3B to turn on hitboxes, and then open F5, which will increase your performance a little. And then there's a thing known as first world lag, which means your performance is just always a lot worse on the first world you open for some reason. But to solve this, we can just reset. You can reset by pressing menu.quitworld here in settings or just pressing F6. And as you can see, your world loads are gonna be a lot faster now. Now you're ready to start runs. Once you're ready to be done running, go to options, hit stop resets and quit and you're back to the title screen. Hope this helped everyone watching. If you have any questions, let me know on Discord. I have my Discord in the description. Or you can just ask in the public speedrunning or the public set seed speedrunning Discords. The links are also going to be in the description. So good luck on runs, and... Thanks for watching!